Hi, I'm going to talk to you about otosclerosis today. Otosclerosis is one of the most common uh, forms of acquired hearing loss in adults. It usually affects patients in the third to fourth decade of life and it's more common in women than men and it typically accelerates during pregnancy. So many women notice a hearing loss after pregnancy. The disorder is a bone remodeling disorder that occurs at the base of the third hearing bone in the inner ear and it causes a fixation of that third hearing bone so that sound waves when they come through the eardrum and through the middle ear bones get attenuated or muffled at that point of fixation at the third hearing bone. And one way to think of that is similar to arthritis where you have a joint fixation and a stiff joint. It's like a stiff joint between that third hearing bone and the inner ear. But it's not arthritis, it's a different disorder and it only affects the ear. It doesn't affect any of the other bones or joints in the rest of the body. The hearing loss that is caused by otosclerosis is typically conductive in nature, meaning sound is not conducted into the inner ear, but the inner ear is capable of hearing sound. And most of the cases of otosclerosis do not involve inner ear hearing loss, but occasionally, rarely, there can be extension of the disease into the inner ear, causing some inner ear hearing loss. We can correct the conductive hearing loss by uh, doing a surgery. And we, when we see patients with this disorder, we take into account their audiogram, which is the hearing test result, the exam, which is typically normal, and a tuning fork exam, which typically um, surgical candidates will hear the tuning fork better when it's coming through the bone and directly into the cochlea and they won't hear it as well when it's coming through the air because of that attenuation of sound going into the inner ear. So the surgery is done um, as outpatient surgery and it can be done under general anesthesia or it can be done awake um, with either some light sedation or sometimes people prefer no sedation and local anesthesia into the ear. The surgery takes about 45 to uh, 90 minutes to complete. It's outpatient, so you go home the same day. And it involves um, a surgery through the ear canal entirely, so there are no cuts on the outside. We make an incision in the skin of the ear canal and lift up that skin along with the eardrum to view the middle ear space and the hearing bones. And then we remove that third hearing bone with a laser and replace it with a prosthesis that bypasses the area of fixation. Then we put the eardrum and the skin back down, put some packing in the ear canal, and I usually use an antibiotic ointment as packing in that case, and then um, you go home the same day. There is um, a risk of dizziness with the surgery. It's pretty common after stapedotomy or stapedectomy surgery. That's the name of the surgery. And so um, about one in five patients will have some temporary dizziness after the surgery. But the chances of correcting the hearing loss due to otosclerosis are about 90% with this surgery. So it's a very um, successful way of treating this form of conductive hearing loss called otosclerosis. Thank you.